Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about the new unlockable machine gun with the Apocalypse DLC, the LMG08-18. This is a powerhouse machine gun. It is one of the highest damaging per second machine guns in the game and something you should absolutely be aware of if you're not. This video will serve as a guide for how to use the weapon and talk about how it compares with other machine guns in the game. Now, if you own the Apocalypse DLC and you're gonna unlock this machine gun, it's very simple. You just need 50 kills with the support class in any way whatsoever, whether that's gun kills, grenade kills, whatever you wanna do, as long as you're the support class and getting kills, you'll unlock this machine gun. To unlock the suppressive variant of this, you'll need to get 50 kills with the LMG 08-18 low weight, and you'll need to do 100 resupplies in one round. Again, fairly attainable objectives. For the resupplies, you'll just want to play an infantry heavy map, stay close to your squad mates, and throw out as much ammo as possible. The difference between the low weight and suppressive variants of these weapons is that the suppressive variant comes with a magnified optic and has slightly more accurate sustained fire where the suppressive variant recovers faster in between taking shots. So better for burst firing, better for taking out one target, stopping a little bit and engaging a secondary target. Personally, I like the low weight variant a little bit better just because I don't like the magnified optics for the suppressive variant and the low weight seems to sort of remind me that this is not a super long range machine gun. Probably the best upgrade that the suppressive variant has over the low weight though is the fact that it gets 200 rounds per magazine instead of 100 rounds. So you don't need to reload as frequently with the suppressive variant. And speaking of reloading, this is a very interesting gun because it has many different ways to reload depending on how many rounds you've shot before you decide to reload the weapon. This is one of the first belt fed machine guns I think ever and the bullet belt doesn't actually come apart after it goes through the gun so you actually have to hand crank it back through the weapon upon the reload animation. The only exception to this rule is if you fired off all 100 of your rounds then you don't need to pull the chain back through the gun and the reload process is a little bit faster. However, if you're leaving five or 10 rounds in your magazine before you reload, you're gonna have to crank that chain all the way back through the gun, making the reload process take a little bit longer. It's not too much longer, but just something to keep in mind if you have the opportunity to fully shoot through all 100 rounds, it'll actually make your reload faster and is something to keep in mind when trying to tactically reload or consider your reload speeds. In addition to that, if you only shoot off about nine rounds from this weapon and then you go for a reload, the reload will also be faster as you will not be hand cranking bullets back through the gun. You can just pull the magazine off and pop another one on. So it's a, got a very interesting dynamic reload in which the reload lengths are significantly different depending on how many shots you fire through the weapon. Popping up the Simthic.com stats, you can see that this gun is a real beast when it comes to the damage per second department. It shoots 600 rounds per minute, which is on par with the BAR. It does slightly more damage than the BAR because it's doing 28 damage per shot in close quarters instead of 26.5 of the BAR. So this is one of the second highest damage per second machine guns in the game, only beat out by the Parabellum MG14. The Parabellum shoots 700 rounds per minute and has significantly higher side-to-side -side recoil. So the nice thing about the LMG08 is that it's a bit easier to control than the Parabellum. And it's a fun weapon to use in close quarters. In a way, it feels like having a BAR with 100 rounds in the magazine, provided that you're using it in close quarters. The BAR is significantly more accurate and easier to use at medium range. That's where this gun does become a little bit trickier to use, especially from a standing position. The the recoil becomes significantly more intense than you might think, uh, especially if you've been laying down shots for a while. It will be very hard to control the accuracy of this weapon. And once you start missing shots because of the high recoil and the high bullet spread, then the damage per second is going to go down a bit. And so that's just something to keep in mind. And it's why I like the low weight variant a bit because uh, it reminds me to sort of take a little breather in between shooting targets and that'll reset my accuracy. It has a 3.0 accuracy rating for hip fire, which means it's not accurate when shooting from the hip and its spread increases pretty drastically when firing from the hip, but still in extreme close quarter combat, you may as well fire from the hip. It'll give you a little bit of a time advantage and you can absolutely kill some people quickly. 
Going prone or deploying the bipod on the windowsill will improve your accuracy enough with this weapon to drop people incredibly fast at medium range. Extreme long range is the one area where I don't care for this machine gun. Some machine guns can do amazingly well with their bipods and drop people very fast at those extreme distances. This is not one of them. It just feels like it doesn't have the accuracy to put enough shots on target at range. Even though it's doing 21 damage at extreme ranges, which means you only need five shots to kill your enemy, getting those five shots is probably gonna take long enough that a sniper is gonna take you out or a medic is gonna return enough accurate fire to drop you. So just be careful when using this machine gun in the extreme long range situations. I played around with the suppressive variant quite a bit, trying to take out long range targets and it just felt nowhere near as effective as some of the slower firing, more accurate machine guns. Now, although this weapon looks like it says IMG on the text on screen, it actually is LMG, but the L is lowercase, and that stands for Luft in German, which means uh, air, I believe, because this is air-cooled. And so because this is air-cooled and not water-cooled like some of the other machine guns in the game, it's going to overheat pretty fast. You can get through about 35, 36 rounds in full auto before the weapon is going to overheat. So keep that in mind, especially if you're sneaking up behind an entire squad of enemies, you may still want to consider burst firing down your targets so you don't overheat the weapon. Now, really the two main factors of why you should be taking this machine gun quite seriously, especially if you enjoy playing the support class, is the fact that it has 600 rounds per minute with 28 damage per shot, and it has a 100 round belt fed magazine. This gives you a huge amount of damage potential, more than just about any of the other machine guns in the game, and it's gonna allow you to just really tear through a lot of people once you understand how to control this weapon a bit more. The biggest downside, especially of the low weight variant, is that the spread increase per shot is not particularly great, and you're gonna feel that on the battlefield. You're gonna be shooting at guys thinking, why am I not landing more hits? It's because the spread's pretty bad. So use it in close to medium range, and once you have to push beyond that, start doing burst firing. Because basically, once you go through uh, about 10, 20 rounds on this weapon, and you have to switch over to a secondary target, your accuracy is going to be bad. So try and take a breather or a slight break in between kills whenever possible. Trying to engage multiple targets at medium range is going to be a frustrating process because the second target your shots are going to be really inaccurate so whenever possible try and avoid going full auto for too long with this weapon as it's just going to become less and less effective Good maps to use this gun on would be a close to medium range infantry combat maps. So we've got Suez here, we've got Amien, there's uh, Argonne Forest, any map that's got some good close and medium range combat where you can control the angles a bit better is going to give you the advantage. Also, you're going to want a map that gives you enough cover to get that lengthy reload off. You will get killed reloading this weapon because it takes a long time sometimes. But uh, just make sure you can find yourself a dark little corner to hide in while getting that reload done and then you can re-engage your enemies. Now especially because of the long reload you're going to want to consider using a sidearm that you're very proficient with that you can kill your opponents from full health to zero health. What weapon are you best with that can do that? I like the 1911 for that. The Obrez is also another very effective sidearm for that. And that's an important thing to consider because uh, when you're playing a class like the Scout class you may want a sidearm that does a really good job of dishing out another 30 damage really quickly because chances are you'll hit them with your bolt axe in close quarters then you just need a finisher pistol that may not be your favorite weapon for killing somebody outright with 100% health. Pick a weapon that you're really proficient with with this gun because you're going to need to use it as a backup with those lengthy reloads. You just won't always have the opportunity to get a reload off. Anyway, in my opinion, this is probably the second best weapon added with the Apocalypse DLC. It's not necessarily a game changer for the support class, but it is a fun weapon to use and absolutely something to consider, especially if you like using the BAR like I do, or you want something that just dishes out a huge amount of damage in close and medium range combat, this is an excellent machine gun to pick. Let me know in the comments what you think about the LMG-08. Is it one of your favorite new machine guns? Personally, I think I'll be using it quite a bit, but it is hard to dethrone the BAR on my personal preferences. As always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.